Well, hello. <laughs> uh, <coughs> bit of deja vu. <laughs> Good morning, woodchuck chuckers. It's Groundhog Day. How are we all doing? Um, so for those of you uh, that were here earlier, I was online for about 23 minutes and I crashed. And I crashed hard. Um, but here I am. I'm back again. I, I, I laid down on my bed and I just went bonk completely fast asleep and i've just woke up and i'm like right shit oh my god it's way later than i expected because I didn't, I didn't set an alarm or anything i didn't really plan to go to sleep i just kind of fell you know anyway uh let's play at least at least an hour or so of some puzzle games um before i get on with my day's things how you doing cam uh yeah i ugh, i crashed out hard <laughs> all right let's get straight back into the game Clearly, I was uh, uh, affected more than I thought about with uh, this morning's activities, and that's fine. I um, hope you didn't miss me too hard. <laughs> I have to realise that that donor goes right across me. Let's get that moved. Yup. Let's have it up in the top corner, much less intrusive. There we go. Okay, so I retrieved nothing. I went in to try and look at this maritime box, didn't I? I have nothing in my inventory. And we're carrying on. I've got a hell of a sore throat. I really hope I'm not coming down with something. Then again, sometimes when I crash out the way I did just then, I, I, I snore like a trooper. So maybe that was what happened. Oh, hello. It's a bit dirty, doesn't it? I get that dance's stupidity, and I really appreciate the warning. Thank you. Hmm. Something happened in here. Hmm. Oh my god! Ah! What are you doing in my stream? Mr. Butter Socks, how are you doing, dude? How's life down under? Um, grease yourself up. It's a butter raid, baby. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, this is actually my, my, my second stream of the day. I've, I've just this second popped online. Thank you for the shout out, Beardy. Just this second popped online. Uh, I, I, I was on for like 20 minutes earlier before I, I, I had a slightly heavy morning. So I crashed hard. So I've just woke up uh, feeling much more refreshed. Although a bit of a sore throat going on, I've noticed. Uh, but I am back. I mean, shit is cold down here, to be honest. Really? Is that cold by Australian standards? Or is that just cold? Because I never, ever think about uh, Australia being cold. Because, you know, it's... Well, it's bloody Australia. <laughs> we are currently playing The Room 4, which is a puzzle game I am much enjoying. Much enjoying? Most enjoying. Is there something on top of here? Not yet. Um, although I have just opened a new room, and I have just woke up, so a little bit foggy. Uh, but other than that, we're all good. I'm glad that you're doing all right. I really am. Uh, I am mildly stuck, as per usual. Sometimes putting this on helps. So there are things to be messed with that I have don't really know what to do. Oh, hello. Hang on. I realise I could play with the runners. We were going to experience sub-zero temps. Oh, right. Okay. Holy crap. I didn't realise that was a... I didn't realise that was a thing. <laughs> Uh, okay, ascending and descending. I only have one of the fins, though, so there's, there is more to do here. God, I really do have a soft thought. But I'm not, I better not be coming down with something. I really don't need that in my life right now. Okay, so I've, but I've done this, haven't I? There's nothing. Usually when you finish doing something, it doesn't allow you to play with the stuff anymore. Uh, because it's because it's done. Maybe there was something underneath it. I'll go back out and have a look. Uh, 
What were you playing today, by the way? Ah, more Knights of the Old Republic. I remember playing that many, many years ago. Um, it 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 looked a bit like the stuff that I've seen of Mass Effect. I've never played Mass Effect, uh, and that is something that is going to be remedied very soon. I think that is actually going to be the next game that I stream. Starting with Mass Effect 1. I've already been warned. I, I must be female Shepard because the, the male voice acting is apparently atrocious. Um, but yeah, people really, really do rave about Mass Effect. And it's definitely time that I... I had a, uh, I had a playthrough. Um, Femme Shep is best Shep. We're hecking close to Antarctica though, so you know... At least I'm a wee bit north of the worst of that, but it's a whole ass valley surrounded by mountains. It sounds beautiful, man. I mean, the 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 British countryside is truly gorgeous, but it's so very, very, very difficult to get somewhere in it where you can't hear a car because everything's so compact. It's so rare to find somewhere where you can just like stop. Listen, no vehicles. I'd love something like that. This is. Commander Shepard, hello. <laughs> this is my favourite store in the Citadel. Unfortunately, I don't get that. Uh, uh, I, I don't get that reference yet, <laughs> quite kayanks, uh, but I think I will hopefully soon. It's, it's it's been on my list to do for a very long time, and it's time it went ahead. Um, well, I won't say the male VA is shit, but you know, Fem Shep is best Shep. Okay, soon I will get it. Soon I will get it. Um, Doc Doc Safira clearly got it. Also, bloody difficult to get to half of it without a car. Sadly, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I do miss having a car. Um, I would very much like a car again, but it's just not a priority. To be fair, hiring cars is pretty cheap. Shouldn't I ever actually really need to go anywhere? Uh, you can always hire cars. Right, have I done everything in here then? Because nothing else seems to be mess aboutable. Yes, that is a word. I've got nothing in here, so this is this is a, it's not a dead room because otherwise it would be sealed off to me. But it's not a room with much going on in it. So I've got two rooms with stuff going on. We've got this one here, which I've done nearly everything. In fact, I can't see anything else in this room to do. If I'm quite honest, there was something going on with this dude's mouth, but whatever it is, I'm. Not picking up on it. Unless this is meant to be from start to finish, but then that's it's a it's a blocking point. I can't get any further than that. I can hear something rattling around when I touch this, but nothing's moving. Hmm. Hmm. Usually you can see something moving when you alter things like this. The eyes don't move. Angle of the hand doesn't move. These things which you'd think it would be connected to don't move. Nothing on the inside bits of the panels. There's no switches. There's a cog in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I live in a pretty big city, but it's like, still surrounded by snow-capped mountains. Just glad I moved a wee bit northern, so it's not as bad. Still, it gets cold enough. It does the shit snow where it's there, but it just looks like someone dropped off the, dropped their snow cone. Oh, it's like British snow, then. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I, I'm really not a fan of snow. Hello. I haven't really looked at this arm. And it looks like there are things on it that can be adjusted and touched and, and, and maybe that is what i'm doing here but i'm not seeing the connection i can't look at the heart again i can't look at the midsection again it won't let me go down there again so the only thing really left to do on this body is here Oh, I'm not seeing it. Feels it's like it's going to be obvious, but I'm, I'm not always. I'm sometimes quite oblivious to the obvious. However, I am just going to really quickly knit to the toilet. I, I literally jumped out of bed and uh, got straight on the PC without actually just 
taking a second to wake myself up. So I'm just going to get to the toilet. I'll be back real soon, dudes. Hello. Thank you for bearing with me there. Um, hey, hey, Cthulhu. Hey, you can get your second choice in now. This is a new stream. <laughs> How we're doing? Um, about 400k. Shit, that's like, that's a big city. That's way bigger than the city I'm sat in. And this is a fairly big city. God, I can't imagine this place being surrounded by snow-capped mountains. And I bet the weather's nice in the summer. Oh, Jesus. Um, hello, Stupidia. How are you doing? This model is giving some Blade 2 vibes. I said earlier when this mouth opened, I was like, what film have I seen where the, the bad guy's mouth opens like that and it was Blade 2? Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much there, Cthulhu. Uh, I am feeling a bit under the weather, but I'm going to power through with this stream because, uh, well, because I, A, I want to, and B, uh, I think you guys deserve a good stream. Right. That isn't... So whatever that is, it isn't. Whatever that is, it isn't. <laughs> I'm done with this. Okay, this is done with. I appreciate this has something going on, but I don't really... Have another zoom back into this. That is the mechanism from the other room. Uh, which we are finished with now. So let's back out of that. Let's make sure you stay hydrated. I'll have to go for another break in a few minutes and fill my water bottle. Best I can. Art of dying. Caravan palace. Le caravan. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, this this is on wheels. I have a, a smear here. I've already read this. Uh... And I've looked at this and I've done this part of the puzzle, but now I'm looking here to see if there's anything else. No, okay, so this all appears to me to be done with. All of this is done with, as far as I can tell. I've done that. There's no longer anything to interact with. That's what happens, it seizes up once it's done with you. Uh, I did this and got whatever this was in here. Here, it's just an angle. I don't think there's actually anything in that book. Um, finish with the vase. 
I'm finished with the globe, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I can't move it anymore. No more puzzles. No more tears. So it's just this. Something to do with these eyes. No. No, I don't see that. Yes, I think it's an excellent part, uh, Cthulhu. Otherwise, uh, I've, I've had other puzzle games where you go around and around and around, touching everything again. So, yeah, once you're unable to touch it anymore, it does appear to be the end of the puzzle. And this doesn't make any sense to me. They're both exactly the same colour, just in a different light. Obviously, we've got a little black dot there and a bigger... What it does, I don't know. It doesn't do anything. Obviously, it must be doing something. I can hear something moving about, but it's not actually changing anything that I can see. Okay, so you can't just put it in the middle. It has to be one side or the other. It started there. Right, let's reset. We started here, like that. I don't really understand what... I still don't understand what I'm looking at. If I go down here, does anything change? The eye doesn't move. Whatever's rolling around, I ain't seeing it. Bollocks, right? Okay, this, this is. I could, I could be just dicking around with that all day. And not, not if you don't understand what you're doing in this game, I think you need to go back and find something else. So let's get out of this room. Let's go back to that maritime room, which is the latest room we've opened. Uh, the kitchen is still available, but as far as I can tell, everything in the kitchen is done. But clearly not, or else it would be sealed off for us. What's the mixer I'm looking at getting? Uh, let's have a look. I did put it to one side. Uh, hang on, did I put, make a bookmark of it? Do you know I didn't? Uh, <laughs> now I can't find it. Yes, Val. I am streaming currently. Just so oh. You know. oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That was Val. <laughs> uh, I, I can't find it right now, Mr. Butter Socks, but it does seem to be a very nice, because my, mine is a very old uh, and and uh, struggling piece of equipment, whereas uh, the one I want to get is much more newer, uh, much more like digital fancier and i really want to start recording these podcasts uh with my mum we've had some right ideas for some fantastic podcasts um and i really want to get started on them but uh oh you can change that back around anyway um so yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, a project that is going to take a, a little time, and I get that. Um, I've, where that is that is what the entire mixer costs. When I get my next batch of money through, uh, I will be putting some into that myself, of course. Um, hopefully by July, 
by July, I should have enough to get myself a new mixer and then start recording these podcasts. And just um, at the minute, I have to put like a special high pass filter on this because there's electric buzzing whine on the uh, on the signal. Uh, it's just because the the um, the soundboard that I used was a gift that it was in someone's attic for a very long time before it became uh, usable before it became before it became mine. Uh, so yeah, right, okay, I'm, I'm stuck in there. Let's go out to go back to the maritime room, which is this one. Yeah. This is testing me today. I've done this. That was that's that's been and gone. I mean, should I put that back down in the kitchen? Does it matter? I don't think so. It's clearly something I can barbecue on there. Uh, but I already picked. I picked the item out of that. This is feeding from I don't know where. They do nothing as of yet. I have no items to put in them. Clearly there's something to shoot there. But uh, I don't know what it is. Can't zoom in onto that side. Uh, right. Oh yeah, last night's uh, last night's Tuesday, Tuesday takeover VOD. Uh... I exported it to YouTube, but it didn't block it on copyright grounds. It only blocked it in Russia. Sometimes it blocks things on copyright grounds, and sometimes it doesn't. And I think it just depends on the distributor. I did put something to that effect in Discord. But yeah, if you've missed last night's Tunes Day Takeover and you want to watch it, and you don't live in Russia or Belarus, then you can do so. Feel free. Oh, hello. That's the artifact. That's the next artifact I need. Oh, hang on. Is this movable? Because they're in the wrong position, but I don't seem to have the tool necessary to spin these. Okay, okay. That's not the end of the world. I can interact with this, which is clearly moving something inside there, but these don't want to come off. Uh, Russia and Belarus are bought from all YouTube stuff now, apparently. So sometimes... Uh, so I played like 26 songs last night. Only one got the copyright strike on YouTube, and that was the Ecstasy, uh, and whatever the name of the song was called, uh, which was a great song. But yeah, the, the the distributor of that obviously says, hey, you can play that on YouTube, but any money's go to me. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. That's absolutely fine. I don't monetize my YouTube anyway. It's literally, oh my God, I can scratch it off like a scratch card. Uh, so yeah, so some of them block, but then some of them outright say, no, you're not using our music, your your copyright thing has to be blocked. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, it's, it's uh, youtube.com slash classicxchunkvods if you want to see all past broadcasts in their entirety, unedited. Uh, I upload after every stream, when I remember. We have another lock. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> it all makes sense now! Progress. Sort of. A small propeller. Well, surely that goes on the back of a submarine. Oh, doing it for me. Don't have to touch it. Thank you very much, Betty. Love it when audio tech does a hum for no conceivable reason apart from being old. Yeah, right. I mean, this is a fair bit of kit. It's, uh... A Behringer Zenix Q1002. And it's a very small, compact bit of kit, and it has served me very well. Uh, but if I'm going to be recording things like podcasts, I need to get rid of stuff like hums and stuff. Aha! The propeller! 
Not for pellets, a fin. That's exactly what I meant to say. Anything else in here, or is that... Not just yet. I think I might have to come back in here another time. Ah, the steering room. Oh, hello. Donk. I want a teddy. <laughs> uh, I think that's what's happened. I think there is a... Oh, maybe I can do you know before I do that. Maybe. Maybe I should just give it a good blow. Didn't even think that it would even be dust, but then it's under my desk, which is a bit of a dusty place, to be honest. I'll give that a try. I'll give that a try. Okay, it's back out of here. Chunk blowing under his desk. <laughs> Right. And I'm guessing we want to go down. Oh, yep, that's going up. Do I want to go up or do I want to go down? I actually don't know. Let's find out what difference it makes. <laughs> See, we get only fantastic content on here. Hey, pro streamer. Uh... Has that changed anything? Doesn't look like it from this angle. Yes, I know. Things opened there. Don't want to get up there. That was like a piece of pipe that I need for somewhere else. Uh, okay. Let's take her up, I guess. And go and have another look inside. Oh. The monkeys might fly out of my butt. Dude! I'll have to... <laughs> I'll have to load up co fight Give me a sec. Oh man, that's that's ridiculously generous. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Twenty pound donation for Mr. Buttersocks. Blow under your desk. So hot. I'll pay for that. Well, um, <clears throat> slip into my DMs. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. I really do appreciate that. You guys are incredible. I've come here. There's nothing seems to have changed in here. Oh, hello. Can I actually play with this? Do you wanna play? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, which snack did I get? Uh, yes. Yeah, so on my way home, I, I had a meet. I had a meeting this morning with my alcohol worker team. Uh, it's the first time I've done a group therapy in quite a while. It was okay. I'm not going to go into the details because it can be a bit heavy. Uh, but on the way back, I needed some bread and I got off at the wrong bus stop because I was distracted by the music I was listening to on my phone. Uh, and this particular convenience store I went into was overpriced but had strange goods. The only strange good that convenience stores in the UK seem to carry. So I got an extreme sour Warheads pickle. <laughs> and... Uh, at the end of this stream, I will be consuming this for your entertainment benefit. <laughs> Nothing can stop the claw! But, uh, they are awful, just say. I mean, I like sour things. I love pickles. Uh, I don't expect it to be, you know, uh, uh, a lovely a lovely eating experience, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Right, this isn't doing anything for me. So I went inside and I got the fin. Change the screen, you fucking <laughs> Thank you, Beardy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, most, the most cockwomble of cockwomble moves. Can I rotate this in any way? 
go. So what is the point? Is there supposed to be something in there that I'm tipping to the front? I'd have thought I'd have to tip it back, but... <clears throat> I have one of those away to me right now. I love the Van Holten's pickles, except the weird shit. And of course, the Pat's are real nice ones and a fucking Warhead pickle. You see, this is a this is not a British confectionery brand. We these do not. We, I've never seen these before in my life. We certainly don't. I've never seen anywhere where you because they did have like hot ones and I think they had like a kosher one. I've never seen anywhere where you could walk into in Britain and just buy a single pickle. I am tempted to open it and have a sniff. Oh, my God. Oh. You know what it smells like? Oh, no. It smells like pickled onion monster munch and petrol. <laughs> That's going back on there. Uh, I'm going to take great care not to, not to knock it over now that it's open. At some point, I'm just going to get angry and eat it. <laughs> it's a big old American thing. Imagine a dildo covered in sour vinegar and you'd be close. I mean, I I'm game for anything. I'm going to say I'm trisexual. I'll try anything once. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, I have no idea what to do with this submarine. Anything with the lens, does that help? No, we're not doing fucking Stonehenge. <laughs> Extra points if I drink the juice. Oh, my God. What is it, Alpaca? It's a uh, extreme sour pickle. Here in the US, they have ranch soda and pickle soda. My God. American here. Never heard of these monstrosities. <laughs> it's a sprawling country, though. It is indeed. It is indeed. I'm a bit stuck with this. Let's have a look, look, look back at this. Because this was something I did do, was move that switch. But then I don't have whatever it is that I need to rotate the rest of this. That doesn't want to move. And this looks like it's been completed because I've... Well, tell you what, can I still move it? I can. But there doesn't seem to be anything else to retrieve from this because I got the thing from there. Smell it wafting over. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the soda is pretty gross. I mean, it sounds it. I, mean, I do admit, I, I've been to America once. It was last year. Uh, around this time last year, actually. Oh, a bit earlier in the month. But anyway, whatever. Um... And, uh, I, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. Thick, 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 thick. Uh, I, we, I finally went into a Walmart, which is what was one hell of an experience. Uh, and I just couldn't believe the variety of snacks and confectionery and drinks and, and everything. It was just like those that everything flavored everything. And it was like, what the hell? Jesus, America. Okay, we are done in that room. Apparently not done in the kitchen. I can still alter the flow of water through... Maybe... Changing this was a bad idea. I should change it back. So that's now going to there, making steam, which is getting pumped up there, which I've already done the room upstairs. It's closed off to me now. I did not have a Slim Jim. What is a Slim Jim, Mr. Buttersocks? I have heard of Slim Jims, but I couldn't tell you what they are. Are they our versions? We have Pepper Armies. Is that a Slim Jim?
a stick of meat yeah right i can't stop i can't hey, hello i can't stop smelling this now so this is gonna get eaten if it makes me sick it's my fault all right jesus wept i've never seen a pickle that big holy crap Ugh. oh it smells so sour Wow! I just flicked them out of my bed. There's a ball on there. <laughs> wow! I like it. doing you came in at a moment i just it's sour oh yeah i mean i love i love pickles and stuff like that wow when i was a kid my mum used to make the absolute monster of pickled onions it used to blow your eyes out this is delicious mm. Yeah, I have never had a pickle as juicy as this. It's like a whole bloody cucumber. Yeah. Right, that brought me later. It was official. It was it's hospital appointment. Uh, wow. That was. Uh, I actually really, really enjoyed that. I, I thought it was going to be horrendous, but I liked it. Yeah. Am I a TikTok trender now? <laughs> Wow. Mm. What are my tastes? I, I get. I just. I. That was really, really nice. Mmm. Pickle Rick. <laughs> I really liked that. Uh, I'm. I'm going to continue to sweep this juice throughout. I think. Oh. Ah. Oh, now that is extreme. <laughs> it it literally tastes like liquid pickled onion monster munch. Uh, do you get pickled onion crisps over there in the rest of the world, or is that a British thing? But man alive, that's what that tastes like. Oh, now whether it sits on my stomach or not, I, I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. Some slight gastronomical distress going on at the moment. <laughs> Damn, I'm pretty. <laughs> Pickled onion crisps is not a thing I've ever heard of. It might be a British thing. Uh, hey, Penguin, how you doing? But yeah, uh, British P Pickled Onion Monster Munch uh, are... Pretty, pretty damn good. So most British kids, especially in the north, I don't know about the south, but we're brought up on them. And that's what it reminded me of. It's quite a strong pickled onion flavour, pickled onion monster munch flavour. I think it's because it's pickled onions are all sour, where that's got a bit of a, quite a sweet tinge to it because of the warhead flavour. And have fun shitting that pickle out. I mean, I, I always have fun shitting things out, dude. <laughs> Toilet is my is my safe space. 
it's where I sit and take my moves on digital Scrabble, read the news, you know, just have a bit of me time. I think that the secret to whatever I'm missing lies in here. <laughs> I like pickled onion, but a pickled onion crisp is the most British thing the Australian Australian has ever heard of. Yeah, yeah. Pickled onion flavoured crisps. Absolutely gorgeous. Make your breast stink though, just like that's gonna make my breast stink. I really enjoyed that. I, I would eat them for pleasure. Uh probably not all in one sitting just like that. I think I'd probably now I know how juicy they are, I'd slice them up. Uh but that convenience store's only around the corner. I only missed a couple of bus stops, so I might have to go back and get the spicy one and see what that's like. Mm. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> okay, guys, I am stuck and I need help. Any ideas? If you know the solution, please don't just tell me the solution. Please push me in the right direction. Uh, and while you uh, when, while you do that, I'm just going to go refill my water bottle because it is empty. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, um, that? Does, uh, thank you for the stretch. I've just hydrated. Uh, you don't slice. The experience is trying not to lose any of the juice. I think that's impossible. Uh, my beard is now soaked in oh, sweet pickle vinegar juice. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the claw experiences gravity, I suspect. That is an interesting point to pull open the door yes penguin what a great idea <laughs> good thing Valor has a plunger on standby <laughs> right so back to the maritime room and plunger is there we want it to go down. Okay, so we're, we're facing the place down. Hello, Unicorn Bob. No, I think we've got it now. Yeah, okay. So now I can do... Because it is now aiming towards that. Well spotted. Because there was me. I thought this was going to open and be some sort of like cargo hole, but apparently not. Thank you very much, Penguin. Excellent hint. Oh, another book. Let's have a look. <clears throat> oh, mm. uh, yes. I don't. I don't know, Cthulhu. I think it does at some point underneath uh, the dude with that. There is. There is like a pipe with that's got like a gramophone thing. I'll show you soon. I'll show you soon. But we have got somewhere, so this usually somewhere leads to somewhere else. <laughs> I find Edward in Father's curiosity room, and it is like the sun dawning. I feared he would never leave that study again. I see the pages in his hands, crumpled, torn, unmistakably mine. I try to explain, but his eyes look right through me. I warn him, plead with him, but he is deaf to me. He says, I have betrayed him. I have damned us both, destroyed his work, both our lives. I can sense it throughout. It, oh, I can sense it throughout him now. The wrongness, the taint I felt outside the study door. In this moment, I know my Edward is gone and no help is ever to come. I have only one choice. Aha, the missing fuse thing. Excellent. How about this? As of now, nothing. Oh, 
Okay, and I'm looking for coordinates at some point as well. It appears to be everything for now. Okay, so I know where that uh, vacuum tube goes. And that goes here, which leads into a trumpet, which could lead to that dude's ear. It's very likely. But it's also not always 100% likely, of course. Right, so now we should have power to this. Now that might be portraying something. I need to fine tune it with those two knobs. Right. Okay. Hey, dog or duck, how are we doing? The pickle was delicious, but it is sitting heavy on my stomach. Let's now lose it down a bit. <sighs> um, okay, so that was in here. So now this might this dude might have something weird signal pumping into his ear <coughs> which i might possibly be able to fine tune ah you see things north five make a note of that the end of this room i think everything's done in there now no not yet uh, okay it's leveled itself out fair enough Yeah, man. Right, so north five. And west 85. Oh my. Is that the seal? Is it broken? Uh oh. Ah, where is my lens? I see. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Oh, Christ, that pickle's repeating. <laughs> Which is unsurprising, really. Although it has maybe it's maybe realised I I really want to like uh, uh, pickle some of my own cucumbers. I think that'd be delicious. In fact, I think my mum's growing some on her allotment at the minute. Mum, I know you're listening. At least you will be on the vod tomorrow. Uh, save me some pickles, please. Some cucumbers, please, when they're grown, because I'd like to make some of my own pickles. Oh, I imagine like a chipotle pickle. Oh yeah. That's a whole Mexican. I could do chipotle spices, some Mexican oregano, some sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, that'd be delicious. Mmm, spicy pumpkin for that. I've never eaten pumpkin. It's not something we tend to eat over here in Britain. We tend to just make Halloween jack-o'-lanterns out of them. Oh, 
hello, there's something on the floor. An anchor leads over there. Oh shit, okay. Hello. Boom. No worries, Mr. Buttersocks. Thank you very much for the raid, my dude. And thank you so much for the donation. That was ridiculously generous, but I, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um... And I, I, I am enjoying watching your uh, streams. Can I get another shout out for Mr. Buttersocks, who's currently playing Knights of the Old Republic, and I'm really enjoying uh, hanging out with him. He's a cool dude. Ah. Uh, it's the Black Goo. Thank you, baby. You're worth it, chunks. Uh, I got into Pumpkin in New Zealand. Good stuff. Um, Lurking is loving until you get a restraining order. <laughs> that's not lurking, that's stalking. Um. But yeah, we 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 do we do we can't even buy pumpkins here unless it's Halloween, can we? I never see pumpkins in shops or anything. Uh, but I've heard that pumpkin pie is delicious. Right, the black sludge is open. I'm guessing I'm not going to pull out a stuffed toy. The colour. Oh, nice. It's a ship figurehead thing. I know there's a proper name for it, but I don't know what it is. Ah. You. This is doing this for me. Goodbye, submarine. Uh, we get to avoid the whole pumpkin spice phenom in fall. We, we get it in Starbucks and, and fancy coffee shops. That's it. That's really it. That's what I was aware. <laughs> Is that the communal toilet? <laughs> Pumpkins, much like any other gourd, are very seasonal. <laughs> it's just international. Um, I, I mean, I don't mind a pumpkin spice latte. I think I've had one once. Uh, I, I like the Starbucks. When, Star <laughs> when Christmas comes around, Starbucks always do a gingerbread latte. And I must admit, I'm quite a fan of it. <laughs> very, very sweet and indulgent. I can only have two or three a year, but they are very nice. Right, so. This looks like it goes somewhere. <laughs> It doesn't seem to have any cogs on it, does it? Like a cog bits? No. It can be opened though. Okay. A pearl. Now a possible key. I have seen that design before. Dude. Freaking me out. <laughs> uh, or maybe I need to keep it on for, for reasons. Let's just keep it on. It can't hurt, can it? Uh, could this be like an aim thing? No. Still don't really know what to do with that. Okay, let's leave the room. <coughs> I was into rural Croatia before you even heard of it. <laughs> Pumpkin spice is literally in everything. Candles, food stuff, drinks, grocery items, anything that can have a scent or a flavour. I mean, we might have that over here. I don't do a whole lot of shopping like normal people do. Um, I, I'm, just, I'm a very practical man. I, I like to buy food. And if I really need to, I'll, I'll, go, buy and I'll go buy clothes. But that's kind of it. 
Okay, I think I might be about to open a new room because that is the design on here, look. See? Oh my! I can't get back into this room, but that has now done that. So I have a chandelier. Okay, it's not closing the room off to me, but it's certainly changed something. Let's go back and have a look. <clears throat> it's the holy hand grenade. Hello! you looking at that apparently are you trying to get everything to look over here no no, back over towards me, you fool of a tuck. No, I can't now. Oh, great. Fucking hell. What's this then? Why is this one a different colour? Why won't it go the way I want it to go? <laughs> Head in the ass. The hell? Motherfucker, I can turn that. What have I done? I didn't even mean to do that. What? Oh, now I... What? I get it changes the light on them, but what's the relevant of the eyeball then? So I'm just I'm quiet because I'm trying to figure this out. I'm thinking. Looks like you're looking at this one here. Failing to see the logic in this puzzle, and that always annoys me when I can't see the logic in puzzles. Show off about your lunatic and the bloody thing.
Why, why is it letting me change that? It never lets you change things if you're already done with them. Whatever. Go away. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's nothing to do with it. We've got a weird like X marks the spot thing going on down there, but I don't make I don't know if that's relevant. All I can smell is pickle juice. <laughs> that's done, that's done. That's done. There wasn't much to do here. That's just a symbol that we've seen throughout the entire series of the games. Is there something else on here that I'm not seeing? If I back out of the room, does it reset the puzzle? It does. No, it doesn't. I can't even fucking tell. The pickle smell is interfering with braining, absolutely. Right, box tier for now. Let's try to find somewhere where this pearl goes, maybe. Meow, looking good. How you doing, Jujube? Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. <coughs> Bit of a rubbish start to the day, but it's certainly picked up towards the end because I'm here <laughs> in my favourite place uh, pearl. I've not seen anything that requires a pearl though. that's the thing pearls come from oysters or on necklaces, no jokes please frame issue <laughs> There's nothing in here for me. There's nothing to interact with. I don't understand why this is still an open room. I mean, obviously, there must be something in here because it hasn't closed me off, but... Submarine is finished. This is not, but I can't seem to do anything with it at the moment. Like nothing seems to respond. Oh, I've not looked at the end bit before. Oh, not looked at this bit before. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's go back to this end a bit. Hi. No. Whatever this is, it's not ready for me yet. Uh... Looks at Steam, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is coming to PC. Don't need a PS5, no? Fair enough. <laughs> uh, a community member of ours, Jenks, just won a PS5 with work. Good lad. Something to do with the Indian cricket. Just throwing this wire around. Starts there. I don't have whatever device is needed to rotate that. There's nothing on there that looks like a, a secret switch. I can see the artifact in there. That's what I need to progress. Ah. Thoughts, please, as always. Please, hints. Gentle hints, not solutions.
hell does nothing for me. Clearly there's a solution to this puzzle, but what it is, I ain't got a bloody clue. No worries, Cthulhu. <laughs> It's, it's something to do with this puzzle. There's something I've not seen, which is which will usually give you the solution to stuff like this. Do I just want everything pointing in the same direction? Is that what I want? So if I were to come over here and point that that way, so we're all going around in an anti-clockwise direction, perhaps? The eye, it do, the eye does look in different ways as I turn it around. Yeah, so what, what happens is... I'll just take that off for a sec. <laughs> We're far too deep to not fuss now. We're four games in. Um, so whatever this... Arrow... <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome to Chuck's Place. I hope you're well. <laughs> as you can see, flatulence from, from either orifice is often a, a feature in this channel. Um, I timed that one. You did indeed, Quianx. Qu Thank you very much. Is it Quianx? Quianx? Uh, and the arrow's pointing left or right. Okay, so. Yeah, why is he, why is he moving? I wanted to look forward. Look forward. But it doesn't. It just moves left to right. That's the only one it doesn't move on. So it must be that one, right? If that's the only one it doesn't move on. It does move back over there. Do, are they, is it looking in whatever direction these are pointing? And I think that actually might be it. But then what am I trying to get it to look at? That's the question. Mm, just stop with the hints, please, dude, because I'm uh, thinking now. Um, any anyway, you want to say it, man? A guy goes with Quingle Dingle. <clears throat> Quinx is the name of first ed D&D wizard would have. <laughs> first ed's a new one. I, 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 am a, I am but a baby when it comes to d and I've had a couple of campaigns, uh, but that's about it. I, I've, I'm currently playing through the first... I'm put, currently playing through the campaign book of Hero Quest with my friends. Right, so if I change this arrow, does that change the way the eye looks? No. Unless do I have to move it. Right, so it is looking that way. So let's move that that way. Let's move this. Where does this look now? continues to move that way so let's keep that looking that way let's move this along one that one does move okay so let's change that the other way around that does move so let's change that one that is already in that direction Hey, I was. I think I was overthinking that one. There we go. <laughs> what can I say? I'm old school. First, I had some real tongue breaker names. Nice. Oh, the artifact! It's here. I have it. Farewell, room of curiosities. You have served me well. <clears throat> it's got such a Camero del Toro feel to it, this, and I'm living for it. Bye-bye. Three seals broken. 
Darkness is the <laughs> darkness is darkness, no matter which corner of the globe it creeps from. The room is closed, but only just true evidence that one's curiosity could be one's undoing. <laughs> Right, what you got for me? A curiously engraved device. Looks like it has to open, doesn't it? Hi. That can also be flipped and changed. Okay, there's going to be something here about the story of someone who did something. <laughs> uh, okay, so at least that room is done and I don't have to waste any more time. I mean, when I say waste time, I mean, uh, I don't have to go back and look there for things that aren't there, like red herrings and stuff like that. Now then, does this belong on here? No. Very well. Shut up. Goodness. Hmm. I don't see how this would fit onto here, but I guess it can't hurt to try. No, the cost can hurt to try. It's ridiculous. Um, hmm. Hmm, got these little open windows and stuff, but the Pell, I don't see why the Pell would sit on top of there, but it's a possibility. Anything's possible in this game. Uh, we do have the bell, the window and the bell tower. Can I zoom into the bell tower? I can. What does this do? What relevance does this have? I need to shoot down the uh, the bell. I'm sure of it. Let's go back into the kitchen. <sighs> of which I was sure I was done, but clearly not. Can't shut the fire and burn the pearl. We can burn him. So all this is done. It's done with. Can't interact with anything else in the kitchen. There's the dumb waiter still, but what? What of it? <laughs> uh, there was these, but I can no longer play with them because the puzzle is done. Stumped, absolute stumped. There's not, there's not even anything really obvious to play with anymore. What does this depict? We've got like devils and. Oh, do we have devils? Did I imagine that? We've got kings and the Grim Reaper. The, I say, okay, the Grim Reaper holds a scythe. Let's actually try and do something logical with this. Uh, the fisherman holds a fisherman rod. Fisherman, fisherman rod. The king holds a scepter. The executioner holds an axe. Swing of the axe! Aha! It was a simpler puzzle. Again, always overthinking. An engraved model roof. On here, perhaps? No. On 
here, perhaps. Let's look at the fitting. On top of the well, maybe? Oh, here, on the bandstand thing. Oh my. Into the garden we go. I want to take you. I want to take you to the ocean. Um, okay, so we have things. The locked in place. Very well. Oh, hello. Ah, so it's a sort of a slidey, puzzly thing. But at the minute, it's locked, so I can't actually interact with it. I'm missing the wheel on that side anyway. Oh, what's this? Let's have a look. Hi. Okay. We have symbols here, there, and everywhere. I need the water to come. There's the pipe. That's what I was looking for. I know what to do. I have a book to read as well. My stomach lurches me awake. Something is not right. The world feels different. I rush to my study. The door lies open. This can't be happening. My world is snatched from me. She has taken the null. Oh, Abigail, dear sweet Abigail, now is not the time for trembling hearts. Not when we are so close. I will come to you. I will make you understand. You can't have gone far, not alone. Without containment, it would... Oh my God, my Abigail. The plot thickens like a good soup. That reminds me I'm making curry tonight. Oh, I don't think I've got time to make curry. I meant to be playing games with friends later. We'll see. Anyway, uh, before we go anywhere further in here, I need to go and bring the water down onto the water wheel to power whatever is going to be powered in this place. Uh, kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. My stomach lurches me away. Clearly, it one of those pickles. <laughs> In a past life, I was a, a competitive chili eater. I've got a very strong stomach. Cheers, babe. All right, so that lives on here. But it's still locked in place. Unless doing that lifts the locks. Right, okay. So we need to... Bubble, bubble, bubble. You can talk, all you do is moan. I see. What? Right, so we've got to do it so that... Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, 
God, this is going to be a headache, I can tell already. Oh, it's upside down. Uh, no good. I can't hear you. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, this is messing with my head a little bit. Excuse me. That's two the right way around. Nearly. Still nearly. <laughs> yeah, got it. No, don't waste your opinion. It was just a case of being a bit more logically minded rather than just touching things and hoping it works. Touch me, touch me, say that you'll touch me. I oh, know that's not the lyrics, but oh, hello. What on earth? Oh, I see the patterns, right, okay. Oh, this is really annoying. Will you please move the way I want you to? Come on. Oh, you bug eyed bully, you. Fairly easy. It was just difficult to control the spinning globe thing. Oh, hello. I've seen you before. You are outside. This could well be the end of the kitchen. An artifact. Yep. 
It is done. Halfway there, four down, five to go. Nearly half, but definitely. <laughs> the valves to the heart of this house are now blocked, yet it still breathes. As each room closes, the seal weakens, and I am one step closer to the knoll. Very well. What device is hidden within? A mechanical wooden box. That's Santa's sleigh. <laughs> sleigh queen. Oh, hello. Bit of stairwell. A stairwell. Okay. Uh, that would go here, up to the balcony. My goodness, uh, I am going to, <laughs> I'm going to call it there, my dudes, short shifts today, short shifts today, uh, but I did promise that I was making a curry for tea and I do have plans in that this evening. Please don't go anywhere, we are going to raid out, I will be back tomorrow, I need to contact my mother uh, to find out what's going on with the bees, we're going to go for a bee inspection because yes, on Monday we combined four hives into two because two didn't have queens and two did, uh, we're going to see where we go from there um we are going to go and show somebody some love i don't think we've raided this person before we might have done i i don't have much memory of these things uh it's certainly not been it's certainly been a while anyway thank you baby oh, uh, uh, uh. okay we're going to go and see uh Merin Wen, who is playing fallout 4 uh, so thank you very much for being here. I will be back tomorrow at some point. I don't know when. Please keep an eye on the Discord for the announcements. For those of you that are not subscribers, please can you copy the first Nightbot message? For those of you that are subscribers, please can you copy the second Nightbot message? And we're going to go and show some love to a, uh, a fellow streamer. Um, yeah. Um, as always, be kind to everyone you meet, especially yourselves. Uh, and I love you all to bits. I really do. And I will see you tomorrow bye dudes never rated them rated them nine days ago how, how did we how, how do how do you check these things i don't remember these things anyway right see you later dudes <laughs>